Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Today I'm gonna to show you around the Sonic X by Venture. Now, this trailer is designed to get you and your family off the beaten path in luxury. It's got so many great features. It is 27 feet, six inches long. It weighs 5,600 pounds and Murphy bed. It has tons of outside storage and the best part, it has solar, it has lithium, it has all of those features and all the extra gear that you need to get away. So stay tuned. Remember, if you are looking at this at your local dealer, check the details because options and features can always change. There is so much to show you on this trailer. Let's get inside and get started. First thing I notice in here, the Murphy bed option makes it feel very open when you walk in. This Murphy bed is one of my favorite designs. Why? You don't have arms in the way that you have to take off and set somewhere or put in a cabinet. It is really comfortable. I mean, the back is cushy. I could really enjoy this even at home. And the other thing I like about this Murphy bed it is one of the easiest Murphy beds to lay down and to set back up. Let me show you that real quickly. As with any Murphy bed, you start by laying down the sofa. Lift up in the front and it lays right down. Then I love there's only one clip here. Pull it down, flip over the last piece and pull the mattress down. It just flips over so easily. Now, that's very simple. I like the cabinets on the side. You get a nice hanging closet here, the bar in the top. Now you can always put shelves in here, of course, but this is a nice deep closet. 110 outlets underneath on both sides and you've got USB plug up here and a 110 on that side. Perfect for a CPAP machine or anything else you wanna plug in and charge. Right back here behind the cabinets, you've got another little cubby. Again, glasses, your book that you're reading, your phone charging, anything you need fits right in that space. This wood look on the back really, I don't know, it warms it up. Storage up at the top here, now this is about 12 inches deep, but you are on the curve on the front, so you really don't get the full height on it. Both sides um, have storage, so kind of a, each person on each side of the bed gets their own space. Now let me show you real quickly how easy this bed is to fold up. Again, one of my favorites. Just fold this up. You can lift it up a little. This flips over and up it goes. Just push it right in and one clip. Now, sometimes you do need to kind of tuck in the bedding a little bit, but that's so quick and easy. Just fold up this sofa and you're right back to enjoying your living room. Let's keep going. Windows on both sides, they're gonna give you the nice open view here over here, I wanna point out, this is the Furion refrigerator. It's an eight cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. It is not a two-way. There is a seven cubic foot, two-way refrigerator that's standard. This is just a few hundred dollars more, but I recommend it, particularly if you're going off grid. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, but it's different than the one you may be used to in your RV. It's a compressor driven refrigerator and uses a fraction of the power. So very efficient, cools in a couple of hours and look how deep those shelves are. Because you don't need the venting and the coils on the back, you get the full depth, giving you a residential style refrigerator. You get a nice freezer up here as well. Look at that space. All right. That is one of my favorite features in these trailers. Next, we have the dinette. Now this dinette, I like the width of it. It gives you a lot of seating space. 
This is a bunk model, so you might have up to six people in this. When this dinette makes a bed, it's 65 inches long. Now that's only five foot five, so not tall enough for everyone, but it is 47 inches wide, so, you know, great for kids. And when you're traveling with your family, I love this huge table. Two legs on it make it really sturdy. A nice window, you can see what's going on outside. You've got a pleated shape that's gonna give you a blackout at night in all the windows. It's a really nice, comfortable dinette. All right, let's keep going. Now underneath these seats, you do have a ton of storage. This storage goes almost all the way back. There is a little bit of gear at the back of it and a plug underneath there in case you need to plug in your computer or anything like that. This other side opens up all the way the full length of the seating. Probably need to use some tubs or something like that to get to the back, but great storage there. Now, before we get to the back of the trailer, I want to back up and show you the kitchen because across from that dinette, over here at the end is the controls as you walk in the door. So let's start there. So hidden behind the end of this cabinet is the light switches and a few charging ports. You've got the USBs up here, the awning and the slide out controls, and of course some light switches. One is for the awning light, the next one is going to be the patio light, and then of course the courtesy light that is the lights overhead. So when you walk in, you know exactly how to flip that light on. Up on the top left is the solar charge controller. Now that is controlling whether the solar panels are charging the batteries or not. Remember on this, there are so many features. There are two 190 watt solar panels on the roof, keeping the batteries charged and two really nice sized lithium batteries. I'm gonna show you that on the outside, so stay tuned. Right up there, that's the charge controller. Of course, this nice little USB with the little cover that flips over and it closes up and it's out of the way. Let's keep going because you've got really a beautiful kitchen space here. I love the white one piece countertop. They do have a drain here at the top for maybe drying dishes. To get to this nice brushed aluminum farmhouse sink, you just roll up the top. It's about six inches deep, but really a very nice size for this trailer and a nice modern high arch sink. To put this back down, just lay it down and roll it out. Two drawers on the left here, they're about six inches deep and storage underneath the sink right there. Another storage cabinet at the top. This is a really nice size. It's about 18 inches deep. This is kind of a glass panel up here. It almost looks like aluminum, but it's a glass inset, very classy. Microwave, of course the vent hood. You know, the signature Venture RV cutting board that hangs on the wall, it's not only decorative, they give you a place to hang that cutting board, but really useful, right? Glass top stove that can be a countertop, but when it folds back, opens right up to the three burners. You know, I love the way these are lighted at night. Um, you do have a sparker on here and the oven underneath. 20,000 BTU forced air furnace right underneath that. That will keep this trailer really toasty. Let's flip that back over. All right, let's keep going because the next thing I'm gonna show you is the storage here. Now this has two double bunks in the back. This storage is plenty for these bunks and you've got the nice TV. It's gonna swivel out so you can see it from the living area, either the sofa or the dinette. Stereo over here, but a nice open cabinet here and two really nice storage areas. This can sleep up to four kids. So this allows you to have all of their gear stored away, maybe as well as some other things that you might need. Underneath in this cabinet, 
is the converter. And of course, that is what takes the shore power, converts it to 12 volt. And another 110 plug under here, accessible from the bunks, or maybe to plug in anything up here by the TV. The bunks behind me, they are both 48 inches wide, but they're different lengths. The top one is gonna be 88 inches long. So holding 500 pounds, adults or children could be comfortable up there. Now down below, it's only 72 inches. Why? Because at this end of the bed, you've got the compartment from the outside that's gonna have your batteries and your inverter and a few more pieces of gear in it. Again, I'm gonna show you that in just a minute, but that takes up the end of this bunk, which is why it's only 72 inches. But for most kids, that's plenty. You do have windows at the end, separating curtains here, and of course a light in each space. There's an added bonus. Underneath this mattress is a hidden gun safe. Now it could also be a fishing rod holder right underneath here. It is lockable and can't see it when you walk in the trailer or open a cabinet. Very well hidden, a nice storage space for you if you need that. All right, behind me, we've got the controls for the furnace right here. This is a Level Mate Pro. There are so many things that you can add on to a trailer. One of the things that's become really popular is some type of attachment that will help you level the trailer. I am a real fan of the Level Mate Pro. Why? Because all you do is download the app, attach it to the Level Mate Probe that's in your trailer, and sitting in your vehicle, you can pull up onto curved chocks to level it. And it's gonna tell you right then and there on your phone app if you're level. Very easy to use. I have downloaded it, tried it myself. Very easy to pair. You don't have to know a lot about technology. Try it, you're gonna love it, and it's included. And down below is the pre-wire for the tire link system. Now that isn't included, but you can purchase it, add it on down here, and that's gonna tell you uh, how hot your tires are, how well they're doing, if they're low on air pressure, that type of thing. Easy add because it's pre-wired for you right there. Down below, the carbon monoxide LP detector right here. Keep the kids safe in the bunks. Always be sure that's working in your trailer. Let's check out the bathroom because they've done a great job in here. Now the porcelain toilet with a foot flush that's always a nice luxury, feels very residential, and it stays clean. That is a nice feature for me. The sink in here is a nice size with storage underneath and a medicine cabinet on the top. I like the way that they have added some storage on the right here. So you have a place to put a few things on the counter, maybe store them there while you're camping and then another nice space underneath. Great for towels, anything else that you might wanna stack there. The shower, it's six foot four to the ceiling, but it does have a skylight in it, which adds another four inches. So plenty of height in this shower, and it's 36 inches wide. So say goodbye to cramp showers. Now there's a few more things we need to talk about in this bathroom. Over here, there is a Go Power battery monitor. That's going to show you how much power is left in your battery. Important to know if you're off the grid and counting on those batteries and the solar power to keep you going. You do have a 110 plug here. Next to that, a tank heater. Your fresh water tank can be heated with the 12 volt power with this switch because if you're camping, you want to be sure that doesn't freeze. Of course, this is just gonna monitor your tanks. You do have 78 gallons of fresh water, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Down here, the water pump switch, and the other two are of course the six gallon DSI water heater that's gas and electric. With all these features, you can see how this is a great trailer for family adventures. Now let's head outside because there is so much extra gear on this trailer that you maybe haven't seen in a lot of trailers. Let's take a look. Coming out, the first thing I notice, 
the friction hinge door so it's not gonna move around in the wind. The lift assist handle, I love that. Makes it real solid going in and out. And the more ride steps. Just flip them up before you close the door. They just make this trailer feel really solid and in and out really easy. This trailer was meant to get off the beaten path. So they put two bumpers on the sides of this trailer for protection. You have a furnace vent right here, the fresh water fill. Now remember, 78 gallons of fresh water. Amazing. I love the off-road tread here, 15 inch tires, great clearance here. And these are 3,500 pound axles. They are rubber torsion axles. The controls that you see right here are for the stabilizer jacks, electric stabilizer jacks, all independent motors, which is really nice if you're not on even ground. And you may have noticed we have another piece of gear sitting right here on the ground. Now, so much of what I'm showing you is standard on this trailer. This is one of the options and it's a water filtration system. It's a four stage filter. You can pull water from a hundred feet away, maybe out of a river, any place that you can get water access, run it through the filter and make it drinkable. It is a great system, stores easily in this cabinet I'm about to open, and it is an option on this trailer. This cabinet is where a lot of the power is stored. Let's open this up. There are four boxes here just for storage, TV at the top, but the really exciting stuff is down below. Let's start over here on this side. There are power lugs on this wall in case you needed to charge the batteries if they got low. But on the back wall, you will see a battery disconnect. Now this one at the bottom disconnects the entire trailer from the batteries, just like the standard battery disconnect that you might be used to in other trailers. Right above that is the battery monitor. That is gonna give you the amount of power you're using the amount of power that's getting charged, all kinds of good information. Because remember, that power coming in from the solar panels, charging the batteries, is what you're counting on if you're off the grid. Up above, that is the charger for it, and a 2000 watt inverter. The inverter is going to take the battery power and turn it back into a household current so that you can use plugs and other things inside. The batteries are located in this box. Now the batteries on this trailer, they come with it and it is two 250 amp hour lithium batteries included in this trailer. Very common for people to get a lithium battery at 100 amp hours. So this is 500 amp hours of battery. These batteries have enough power to run the 11.5 BTU air conditioner on this unit. Now I know your question, how long? Well, it depends on so many factors, including what else you're running and how hard the air conditioner is working. However, we know it can run for a few hours, possibly more, depending on your situation. There is one more disconnect switch. You'll see it right down here, and that is gonna disconnect the inverter. There may be times where you don't wanna run the inverter, disconnect it right on that side. On the back wall, a few more switches, you do have the switch right here on the left for the blue light that's gonna give you visibility in this cabinet at night and a switch to the right of that for the light bar. This trailer has two really nice bright light bars, one across the back, one across the front, because if you are off the beaten path, it can get really dark. You may need a little extra light there. So that is a great feature that's standard on this trailer. All right. Let's move around to the back. There is so much more to see. Oh wait, one more thing. We have two gas ports right under here. Why two? You may have several things that you might wanna hook up under there, like maybe a propane fire or propane grill all at the same time. So those are located just underneath here. Let's go around to the back now. One of the great things about the standard features on this trailer it comes with this gear rack. This unpins, folds up against the trailer if you don't need it, but if you do, you can fold it down, ice chest, generator, maybe even just a workstation. 
Underneath the gear rack, you can see the triple tube bumper. Now it's not only stylish, but very functional and extremely strong. Let's take a look at the storage in here. There is a lot of space under here and it's accessible not only from the back, but also the cabinet on the side. The satellite and cable hookup are easily accessible right here on the left. If you happen to be at a park or have something like that, and it is pre-wired for a backup camera if you'd like to have your dealer add that as well. Remember, there's that light bar on the top. Take a look. It is really nice if you're out in really dark places. It's gonna provide so much light out there for you. Again, that switch is right in the cabinet on the side. And around the side, you have access to that large storage space in there, which is always nice. And, I like to point out slam latches. It's just a really nice way to make cabinet doors to make it easy to open and close. Water heater here, and of course, the hot and cold outside shower and the shore power plug-in. Underneath, this will be your gray and black dump station. You've got gray on the left and of course black on the right. This is a 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. The storage in front is just as impressive as the storage in the back. Let's open this up. This is a nice wide space that goes all the way across. Again, this tube bumper is gonna be all throughout the trailer on every side. Around the front, the rock guard on the bottom, and instead of the gray fiberglass, they did the white with the dark graphics. I really love the contrast there. Two 20 pound propane tanks. You do have space behind that for batteries if for some reason you wanted to add some more here. This is a jacket bike rack. The top of it drops in here, hang your bike on the top. It can hold two bikes and it's just a really nice way to have not only bikes in the front and additional storage in the back. Electric jack, all standard with the trailer. Just above me is that light bar we talked about that lights up the entire area on the front of the trailer. The switch for that is just inside this pass-through compartment. You do have the light here for the compartment and next to that, the switch that turns on that light bar. I hope you now see why I think this is one of the best trailers on the market to get a family out there enjoying the great outdoors. The only two features that aren't standard on this trailer are gonna be the water filtration system and the lithium batteries. So it has got so much to look at and to think about. If you have questions, let me know. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.